Hey, what's up, everyone? We're playing some more Valheim, and I know last video I said, man, I don't know if we're gonna go for the special sword. Well, psych! Yeah, it's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for the Dver, whatever that sword is called. There's a lot of W's, man. I can't pronounce that. So, I looked into a little bit on how to find it, and as you guys can see, I am inside of a putrid hole. It smells like crap, but apparently in here is where I can find a tablet just like the boss tablets or like the giant stones that will basically give me the location of one of the three pieces that make up the sword. So there is the tip. Also, I just got some rotten meat. Uh, yummy. There is the tip. There is the hilt and there is the blade. And then along with that, we'll just need one blood gem, which we have along with 20 flame metal, which we have. So essentially... I just need to find the three pieces. So, yeah, we're inside of the putrid hole. There is actually a lot of these, like, soft tissue deposits, which are actually cool. That, like, you, know, I need more soft tissue. So, that's actually pretty useful. There's also a lot of these molten cores, which is cool. So, yeah, honestly, while I'm searching for this, I'm going to be taking as much of the soft tissue back. Because it's pretty annoying having to find it in the Mislands find in the skulls if it's like this easily accessible to just find them in these yeah i'm definitely going to take advantage of that now here's the thing i know we have to find a plaque but i don't actually know what it looks like so i'm i hope i'm just not missing it because i don't see it yeah i'm hoping i'm not missing it but i'm assuming it's going to be fairly bright so, oh, and there's also chests in here. Okay, cool. All right, everybody. Future to hole number two. So it doesn't seem like we had luck in the first one unless I missed it, which I don't think I did. It's also interesting. Whenever I walk in these putrid holes, it seems like the first couple seconds I can see perfectly and then instantly the shroud, the mist comes. Maybe I should like explore it right away super quickly while I can still see. Uh, but just like the last putrid hole, there just there seems to be a lot of these gooey soft tissue deposits. Molten cores, but I don't see what I'm looking for. These plaques. Not gonna lie, I came into this like pretty optimistic, thinking I could find it fairly quickly. But now I'm starting to have my doubt. That's also here's another thing I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I'm gonna make sure to mark every hole that I find on my map because. Like I said, I'm not feeling super optimistic anymore about finding them. Meaning, I really don't want to hit duplicate holes and waste my time. So I'm going to make sure to mark every single one that I check on the map. Uh, partly to keep count of how many holes that I've been in. But also just, again, to make sure I don't go to the same one. But yeah, so far it's not looking good. We're two holes deep and I don't think we have anything. Here's the thing. I also have not looked at the... Like, not, not the rarity. Like, the percentage that are in future holes that I can find. So, I, you know, <clears throat> for all I know, I'm going to have to go through the entirety of the wasteland at 20 future holes just to find this thing. But, I never said I'm not willing to do that. I'm here for the long haul. I want this stupid sword. I, I keep telling myself, no more Valheim, no more Valheim. And it just, the, it's, it haunts me that I want to finish it so badly. It haunts my dreams. All right, future hole number three. So no luck on the first two. Uh, is three our lucky number? Maybe, probably not. But let's give it a whirl. Drink some water. Okay, okay. Get some water in while you can. You feel me? All right. So let's use our staff of embers. I found that it is probably the easiest way to clear out these little flesh piles. What I'm doing with my inventory is I'm basically 
throwing away everything minus this uh, soft tissue. I think it's probably the, 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 the most important thing for me is just to take the soft tissue out. We'll see if I maybe have to drop it later, but more than likely I'll try to, if like, my inventory is absolutely filled, maybe I'll head back to the portal, take it back home, and then come back and keep exploring, but yeah. So the strat for me at least now is find a putrid hole, and I'm just following the edge of the wall all the way around. I'm pretty sure if we find it, it'll be at the edge of a wall. Some caves have a little middle pillar. <clears throat> if we have one of those, I will also check that. <clears throat> and there we go. Mark of the next, this hole. Oh. Oh! Oh. Well, good thing he likes to roll around like a Beyblade before he actually attacks. See ya! <clears throat> Nothing in this one. Alright. Time for me to look for another hole. Hole number four. Let's go, baby. <clears throat> you guys have hope? Hope? Maybe number four? Let's see what we got. Dude, I hope for my own sanity that I don't have to do this for every single hilt piece. If I have to find three, <clears throat> and I've already been in four, and I haven't even found it yet, like, don't tell me I'm going to have to find fifth, like 15, 20, 30 of these stupid, nasty holes to find all three. I hope... I don't know. Uh, maybe when we find the piece, it'll lead me to my next piece. I don't know, guys. But I'm I'm severely hoping that I don't have to search 20 of these putrid holes. Because once again, this is probably one of the smallest ones I've seen. And there is nothing empty bro like my current brain cavity it's empty bro all right time to move on number five all right hey number five you know that was uh really quick actually that didn't take too long to find maybe a, a reward a blessing please can i find it in this one Let's take a look around. Lots of gooey piles still. I always take these. I'm pretty. I don't even know what these molten cores do. I know they make stone portals. Do they make anything else of use? Because if not, I can build like 20 million stone portals. Which that's probably why they made them so abundant. Because at this stage in the game. People probably have, like, 20 portals set up across their worlds at, like, a minimum. So, like, yeah, we need to give these kids enough molten cores to make at least 20 stone portals, you know? That isn't a bad idea. Except the only thing that sucks about making the stone portals, you also need to make a stone cutter. Um, and, you know, that's a little bit more rough. But, oh, looking around, doesn't seem too good. Doesn't look too good what are we five we're at five right i'm already losing track i think we're at five another stinky hole with nothing to show but hey on the good note <clears throat> man i'm getting really good at traversing across the ashlands i'll give you that much i remember when we did the first fortresses i would die every two seconds now it's like once every 20 you know All right, Petron hole number six. I had to walk a little bit for this one. You guys saw it in the time lapse. The, the, the little section of time was much longer for this one. All right, please give me hope. Number six. Are you are you my lucky number? Another chest. Yeah, it's funny. These chests absolutely suck. <laughs> they usually give me charred bones and gold. Like, come on, guys. We're, we're, we're in the... We're in the Ashlands. 
I need something a little bit more juicy than some charred bones. I get 20 million of them just trying to raid a fortress. Which is now super easy with the trick that I showed you guys a couple videos ago. You're welcome, by the way. I like just uploaded the video, so I don't know if you guys have watched it, but... I'm just saying. It's pretty good. Alright, looks like number 6 is a dud. And we also got a Morgan wanting to eat my butt cheeks, so... Instead of getting my butt ate, I think we should probably get out of here. Alright, future hole number seven, right? Isn't it seven like everyone's lucky number? Alright, I think this will do, Donkey. This will do. Also, there's a, I think there's a tornado siren outside, so I am not... If you see this video, I'm not dead. Spoiler. Alright. Anything so far? No. A little bit of goo. Never hurt anybody. I love. And see, look, man, I've got, I've got almost three stacks of rotten flesh already, which is crazy. Get ourselves plenty of eater. Although we don't need a whole lot of eat. Well, see, I don't need a lot of eater now. But hold your freaking horses. I know it's like. Probably a decade from now, but there is going to be another update eventually at some point. Likely with new magic weapons, and we'll likely need more eater at that point. So, it might not be a good idea to get a little bundle of eater set and ready. You know what I mean? So, it's not it's not a bad idea. But, I'm looking around. Still looking a bit rough. We're about seven holes deep. I'm hoping you guys are sticking with me here. I could just cut to when I find it, but... You know... That's not the true experience of Valheim. I don't want to coddle you guys, you know? Uh, I, I, this is a playthrough, not a tutorial. In a tutorial, I would just take you straight to it. This is a playthrough. So, you know what? You guys are playing with me. I hope you guys like it. You know, I want to give you guys the true experience of playing Valheim. If, if for some reason you don't, you you can't play Valheim, I hope you can play Valheim through me. And this is the true experience of I'm seven holes deep, meaning you're seven holes deep with me. Speaking of seven holes deep, let's go into the eighth. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We're still in the same section of the area. We're not. We're on the little peninsula thingy. It's not really a peninsula, but whatever. All right. <clears throat> I wonder if I should start checking these a little bit more quickly. This one seems to have a lot of molten cores, and the actual place is much bigger. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe there's hope. Just a little. Maybe. Oh, Morgan, please. Do not get up. I'm just... Oh, yo! Is that what I think it is? Dude, I think this is it. Dude, look! <clears throat> See, it's a tablet. I knew it would be a little brighter. I, I was like, I can't miss it. Dude, and it literally gives me the location. And it's not even far. Alright, first piece, here we go. Alright, the first piece should be right in front of us. We have another little headstone, but I'm pretty sure this is just like a story thingy. Dude, the first piece is right in front of us. Look, it's, it's like on a cute little house. Alright, how do we get in? Oh, that is a mega spawner. Does that thing, like, a two-star? Oh, that thing's gonna suck. Okay, we might have to utilize our trolls here. Is that a two-star? Oh! <coughs> I'm gonna choke. Oh, that thing, like, does that thing only spawn two-stars? All right, we're definitely gonna need, we're gonna need the trolls to distract. I know my trolls are probably gonna get melted by these two stars, especially the warlock. Oh, that thing's gonna melt. But honestly, the troll is also really good because it'll bust open the wall for me. Let me just drop the flesh for now. Yeah, look, he busted open the wall for me. All right, we gotta just go in and swipe him, like you know, like swiper from Dora. Just yoink! All right, gotta get out. All right, uh. We grabbed them. Let me grab these. And also, I should probably read this. Oh my god. 
it does take me to the next piece. Wait, is that so? <clears throat> Hold on, I'm like, again, I'm choking in awe, bro. Is, is that how it's supposed to be? Is it supposed to lead me to the next one? I hope, so. I hope, I hope when I go to the next one, it does the same. Okay, guys, we're home. Uh, just quickly dropping off my first piece. So there it is. First piece completed. Okay, everybody. So we have unlocked the next piece. Sadly, it is not right next to us like the other one is. So this one, we're going to have to sail. It's almost on the other side of the continent. So it's a long sail. And of course, I'm not going to bore you guys with that one. So I went ahead and put this bad boy in a time lapse. I'm really hoping that it's near the shore and that I don't have to park somewhere and then, you know, have to trudge through the Ashlands a whole bunch. I'm hoping it's near the shore, fingers crossed, but um, it looks like in the time lapse, we're almost there. So, uh, wish me luck. Okay, everybody. So, I parked. What? the thing on the side here All right, everyone, <clears throat> let's go ahead and try and quickly swipe these pieces. Once again, there's one of those uber spawners that seems to only spawn two stars. Let's summon some trolls. Try not to get uh, clotheslined by my own troll here. Okay, yeah, I think the plan is to just run and grab, run and grab, run and grab, run and grab. Go, go, go. All right. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's right in front of me. Dude, do I? Do I? Oh my god, I have case open in the background, don't I? Alright, hold on. Let me... Okay! Alright, queso. Love that guy. Yeah, I was watching him a little bit. I totally forgot that his stream was still on. Alright. Okay. That is the next mysterious location. Oh my god. Thank you. Alright. Um, I died. <laughs> but it's okay, because I want to show you guys how to... No way. Dude. I did, Dude, I just caught history on camera. Did you guys just see that? I just unlocked the Maypole. Guess what time it is for me? It is May 21st, and it just turned to 12... Well, now it's June 1st. It just It's 12 a.m. It's 12.01 a.m. now. Guys. Live. You just watched the Maypole be unlocked. It is only in midsummer. Has anyone ever done that? Like, caught it live where it unlocks? I don't know, but that's sick. Yeah, I think I think that might be uh, that might be the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. Not really, but that is it's pretty cool watching it be unlocked live. So if you guys don't know, there are two pieces of furniture in this game that give you comfort that are only unlocked in certain times the the maple is only unlocked in midsummer which i didn't know actually when that would happen but it's apparently <clears throat> june 1st and it is now june 1st but there is another one that is during christmas which is like the tree which i don't have that one funny enough i had it at my old base with my friends because we started this playthrough last november but sadly not anymore Okay, let's go ahead and go back home. That is the second piece. Second piece. So, we just need that third. And once again, ah, man. Thank you, developers, for at least having where the next piece is, like, the location is given when you find a piece. Because, man, if I had to dig through, like, 20 million future holes, I would probably... <clears throat> not live much longer but if we're here let's go ahead and build this maypole so thistle 
dandelions and wood. That's not too bad. Again, but you can only build this uh, midsummer. So actually, you guys, right now, because I'm probably going to release the video in like two or three days. I, I don't know when this is going to come out. Probably June 3rd or 4th or something. Right now, go into your Valheim Worlds and make sure to build a maypole in your base right now because... Once midsummer ends, which I have no idea when that is, you will no longer be able to build this maple that is right in front of me. There we go. So that gives us an extra comfort that can only be done like now. So, uh, yeah, uh, PSA reminder, go to your bases and do that. I'm just going to let my comfort reset here. Let's go ahead and drop our inventory off a little bit in our new inventory system if you guys watched last video someone commented yo why are you using old uh chests and i said i don't know so i went and revamped that on the suggestion of one of you guys there are two pieces and i'm also glad that when we find the pieces it gives us a couple so we can make a so like you know if i was still playing with my friends I'd be able to make two swords instead of just one, you know? So I do appreciate that. Shout out devs for not being complete buttholes. You guys are pretty cool, I'm assuming. I don't know any of you. I just started playing your game like six months ago. So you're pretty cool in my book, though. Although your game is very hard. You make me sad sometimes that your game is very hard. But it also makes me happy because your game is hard. You know, I'm always hard. Yeah, let's uh, move on. Luckily, the last mysterious location isn't in a terrible spot. It's actually still on our continent. Look, it's right here. It's on the continent that we've been on this whole time. Meaning, I could probably just walk to it and be completely fine. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to walk. And I've been pretty good at that. Okay, everybody, we are at the last one. Now, this one's a little special. I didn't, I, you know, I didn't want to spoil it for you guys, but two of the pieces you find, you grab, and you run. The third piece is different. It is not, when I break through this wall, it will not be on that, on that table. It'll actually be inside of the cave, and inside of the cave is something that I didn't even know existed. Until I did a little bit of research, but I'm not gonna even tell you guys about it. So that wall sucks and it wouldn't let me break through with my pickaxe, but um, Nothing can beat the staff of embers as far as breaking into things But as you can see there's nothing on the table, but there is a cave and inside of this cave Is something that I need to prepare myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my bubble I'm gonna go ahead and restore my food if possible I'm even gonna use my bone mass because I Dude, I am not messing around with whatever's in there. We're going to do it live. We're going to do it live. Give it a moment. Let my I'm also letting my health regenerate. Alright, let's go. Tomb of Lord Rito. This butthole has my last piece. Therefore, he has to go down. Oh, dude, look at him. Dude, he's gigantic. He's a two-star and he's blue. The weird part is he does not seem to get stunned by my ice. Let's see. Dude, is this the strat? Hear me out. This is a very small space, right? We have limited area. And I can spawn a lot of these little grass tentacles. Can I just trap him? So if I can't stop him from walking towards me with the ice staff. Hear me out. Okay, he also just, like, stopped over there. Hey, butthole, come come towards me, please. Okay, I mean, if he... Oh, it's probably because he's rooted. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I forgot that these things also root. Honestly, I was initially just thinking it'll keep him away from me because it'll just hit him away. But yeah, also, there are... You, we just root him, too. Okay. Well, if you also notice, he is not dying very quickly. 
man, this guy is... This guy is tough. Yeah, like, I don't think you could do this without fully upgrade... Whoa! Fully upgraded mage stuff. Just because this guy's not dying very quickly. And even my... The, my, um, my ice wasn't doing a lot. Let's go ahead and raise our homie up. Maybe he can help a little bit. Probably not, but maybe. But, I mean, these things are doing a little bit of work. Although, I need to... See, I kind of need to keep using my eater to keep respawning them because they just go away. Maybe instead of... I won't fight them at all with, like, ice and stuff. I'll just focus all of my eater on spawning these and... It might take a little while to kill him, but I feel like this is such a safe method. Like, we don't need to get close to him. We don't even need to dodge any swings. We just hit him a bunch. I think we'll be good. Yeah, man, I love the mage build. I feel not, not that, like, the devs didn't balance him correctly, but... The mage builds have so much opportunity to br not break the game, but like, look, this fight is supposed to be grueling and hard and dodge and block. But like, look at me, I I just surrounded him with green tentacles, and he just can't. Okay, well, I say he can't get to me now. He runs out because he's oh, and he even got boosted like he's in Rocket League or something towards me. Um, but yeah, like. The mage, it's so easy to kill stuff with, you know, not even being in any form of danger. I just stay away and I let these things slap at them. Again, I, I can't say that I'm mad about it, but it is funny that these poor, poor melee players have to go through hell and back and, you know, healing and dodging and all that. And I just, I'm sitting here like the coddled little princess that I am and I just summon, you know the 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 trees to fight for me but you know it is what it is if the if the devs meant it to be like this you know who am i to complain but yeah i like i can't tell if this is exactly what they had in mind when they started ma making these mage builds because it feels too easy right like too easy now for the love of god please don't nerf it I hope they don't nerf it based on the things that I'm saying. Uh, but, yeah. It's a, it's a little broken. Again, th this guy is mad tough, but compared to the utility of a mage, it's not a whole lot. Alright, a little more. A little more. Can you just die, dude? Can you just die? You know what? I'm gonna bomb you. There we go. You like fireballs in your mouth hold this all right does he drop look at that so he dropped the last health fragment and he dropped well no he didn't drop the sword but we have unlocked the sword oh my god let's go baby okay it took a little while how many putrid holes did we did was it the ninth putrid hole but yeah after you find the first one apparently it leads you to all the rest so not as bad as I thought, but still, you know, it took a minute. All right, we're back home. I just cooked up some flame metal. We can make the sword. Look at this. Look at that slash. Look at that fire damage. Look at the materials. Oh, my God. This is going to be such a cool sword. Funny enough, it's not as strong as you might think. For, like, how difficult it is, it's not. It's actually not crazy strong. It's definitely good. But it's not, like, way better than even, like, a silver sword in the Ashlands or something, you know? It's pretty cool, though, dude. Look at this. Okay, I'm in the Ashlands. I just wanted to test how good the sword is to show you guys live. Here we go. Spawn something for me. I mean, like I said, it's not bad. It, I can't say that it's bad. For how much work it takes to get it, maybe it should be just a little stronger, maybe? Because it's, like, the ultimate weapon. But I, I also do think if they made it too strong, the next biome would be, like, spoiled. You know what I mean? But, guys, we found it. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.